So now we know how to synchronize clocks. A pair of clocks is synchronized if it measures the speed of light to be the speed of light. So the procedure we just did all took place within one reference frame. The clocks are both in the same inertial reference frame. Would an observer in a different inertial reference frame also think that those clocks are synchronized? We'll get to that important question um, in subsequent units. But to wrap up unit two, there's two more topics I want to cover. One is uh, another way of thinking about clock synchronization called the radar method. But first, I want to introduce space-time diagrams. And they're a very useful type of diagram, a geometrical device that will let us think about events in space-time and will be really useful um, in this unit and even more so in subsequent units when we think about different types of time. So I'll illustrate uh, this idea of space-time diagrams with an example. So here's the scenario. Anastasia is in a spaceship and she's traveling left to right at a speed of half C, i.e. half the speed of light. So what that means is, is that she travels half a second of distance in every second of time. If she was at the speed of light, um, she would travel one light second per second. She's half the speed of light, so she'll travel half a light second of distance per second of time. Okay, so let's think about this motion in a couple of different ways. So first, I'm going to picture her motion with dots. So this motion would look like something like this. So here's the picture. Imagine the spaceship blinks every second. So, so we see a blink here, a blink there, a blink there, and a blink there. So every second the spaceship blinks. And during that second of time, the spaceship will have gone a half second of distance. So the, um, again, the time for each of these dots is um, one second apart, and the distance here would just be a half of a second. So a half of a second between each of these dots, and so on. So let's illustrate the motion of Anastasia's spaceship on a space-time diagram. So this is a blank space-time diagram axes for space and for time. But notice that time is on the vertical axis, up and down. We're much more used to having time be down here, but in special relativity it's conventional and actually quite useful to have time going up. So we'll need to think about these differently than we think about um, traditional x versus t graphs. All right, so Anastasia is moving um, left to right a half second of distance in every second of time. So let's plot that here. Let's say that um, her initial position happens, we'll say that coincides with x equals zero. So this is x equals zero, t equals zero. One second later in time, she has moved a half second to the right. So one second in time, time goes up on this diagram, so this is one second and then she moves a half second to the right. So that's about half a second. Another second passes, that's up, and then she moves another half second to the right. So this says after two seconds, Anastasia has traveled one second of distance. And then these dots would continue in a straight line. So after three seconds, another second passes, that's up, and then lose another second, another second in time, another second in distance, and so on. So if Anastasia's spaceship was blinking, this is what it would look like. If it was blinking continually, or we were just looking at it, it was daytime and we were watching it zip by at half the speed of light, this would look like a straight line.
This line on a space-time diagram um, has a special name. It's called a world line. So this would be the world line for Anastasia's spaceship. The path that um, the spaceship traces out in the world, in space and time. Lastly, let me show you uh, another way to visualize what's happening on these space-time diagrams. You can think of these as movies, movies of a position, X position, with time flowing up. And you can sort of see that with the use of this. So this is just a piece of cardboard and I've cut a little slit out. Um, and so this slit just gives me a snapshot of the X position. And then as I move this up, focus on the orange line, you can see the orange line moving to the right. So if you, right, so time flows up in space-time diagrams, focus on a single horizontal strip, that's a single moment in time. As you move this up, you're moving along in time, and you can see what happens. And here in this case, we see that the orange line on Anastasia's spaceship is moving to the right. All right. So, um, following this video is a quiz, which I very much recommend you do, because it will um, have you puzzle through, think through a number of different things about, um, a number of different features about space-time diagrams. So take a look at that quiz, and then I'll go over that quiz in the next video. But definitely um, check out that quiz on your own first.